It's time for another Python optimization video, meaning it's time to have you guessing if you've been using Python incorrectly your entire life. Let's start with two functions that serve the exact same purpose. We can see that function 1 runs in 83 milliseconds, while function 2 runs in 166 nanoseconds. That's actually a 50 million percent, or a 500,000 times speed increase. Let's see what's going on behind the scenes. Function 1 is just a regular Python function that performs some arithmetic operations in big o of n squared time. Ready for the big unveil of how this can be done 50 million percent faster? It turns out that function 2 is the exact same thing, with the exception of a single Python decorator. Yeah, I'm not kidding, and you can use this with your code today with no strings attached. Let me explain. You're probably familiar with the fact that some languages are compiled, such as C, C++, and Rust, and some are interpreted, such as JavaScript, Ruby, and of course Python. Compiled languages are known for their blazing fast speeds, and are often used to make fun of how sluggish their interpreted friends are. When you write code in a compiled language such as C, before you can run it, you must go through the step of compilation, which converts your human-readable source code into highly optimized, hardware-specific, ready-to-execute machine code, also known as binary. This is why there are hardware-specific downloads when downloading various software, and how organizations are able to distribute software without leaking their source code. A compiler can convert from source code to machine code, but reversing this is quite difficult. On the other hand, an interpreted language such as Python is executed on the fly, line by line, as it is ran. This is why when JavaScript is distributed on websites, you can actually see the source code directly. This is also why when building and deploying web apps and websites, you don't need to write different code for different hardware. It's up to the client's interpreter to execute it. There are pros and cons to each approach, but what if we could combine the best of both worlds, bringing the blazing fast speeds of compilation to an interpreted language like Python? Enter Numba. Numba is an open-source JIT compiler that translates a subset of Python and NumPy code into machine code. JIT stands for just-in-time. With Numba, we can keep our functions as pure and native Python code, slap a JIT decorator on it, and boom. Our code is now compiled to machine code, just-in-time, right before it is executed. Is it really that easy? Why have you never heard of this before? And most importantly, why not use this for every single piece of Python you'll ever write? Let's take a deeper look at how we can use this. We have the base decorator called at JIT, which can be ran in either object mode or no Python mode. It turns out not every single piece of valid Python can be compiled with Numba. Object mode is a hybrid or a fallback mode, which will analyze your bytecodes and identify which parts of it are eligible for compilation. After compiling what it can, it will resort to the regular Python interpreter for the bits that are left over, such as code reliant on Python objects, dynamic typing, complex states such as metaclasses or global variables, or external Python libraries lacking support. On the other hand, the preferred mode, known as no Python mode, will either compile all of your code or return an error. In fact, you can just use the at engit decorator to avoid typing no Python equals true every time you use the decorator. If you are typing Numba compatible code, then slapping on an at engit decorator is fair game, and those performance gains are yours to keep. Something important to note is when compilation actually happens. Let's walk through a quick example. You write a JIT decorated function and begin execution. The code will not be compiled until the first time it is ran. This is why you can see a painfully long execution time on the first run through. A lot of the time, this could even be slower than using regular Python. It won't be until subsequent pass-throughs that the code is already compiled and ready to go. Something else to note is that Numba is fully compatible with NumPy, which is one of the leading and most optimized Python libraries. It turns out NumPy is already written in compiled C, making further enhancements marginal at best, contrary to what you might have thought. If you're wondering where NumPy fits into all of this, including NumPy's specific optimizations, such as parallel computation and SIMD, head over to my NumPy video, where I introduce and break down these concepts further. If you want to learn more about Python's low-level bytecodes, click here. And subscribe to the channel if you want to stay in the loop for more similar content, such as Cython. Thanks for watching.